Okay, Premier League. Uh, there was also a big thing happening, uh, and that was the one, one of the two games that I really watched uh, fully this weekend. Uh, but in the preload, finally Liverpool got the game before City and beat Bournemouth kind of handily 4 0. I was a little bit afraid of that game, but yeah, Liverpool didn't waste any time on that. Uh, Arsenal also beat Huddersfield 1 0 and United Fulham 4 1. And so it was then the big game, late game in the evening, Chelsea versus City. And was a weird game in the sense that Chelsea kind of decided we are holding back. We know that City will have all the possession in the world, but Chelsea will be more on the counter attack and having a controlling game that way. That's the feeling I had throughout the game. City had chances, uh, but Chelsea was defending really well. Uh, I think the best chance for City came in the eighth minute. Where Sterling could have made a goal, and after that, there was nothing where you say this has to be a goal. Quite the opposite. Uh, however, when, it, when uh, Chelsea made the first goal in the 43rd, it was a little bit against the run of the play. But Azar was going on the left flank, uh, ball comes in, City makes a little bit of massive defending, and Kante slams it in for to have a 1 0 halftime lead. As I said, I felt it a little bit lucky, but on the other side, tech, technically, uh, Chelsea was really, really, really smart. The second half continued in the same fashion. Uh, lots of possession for City, uh, but Chelsea being on the back end and really trying to uh, keep the defensive formation uh, was a really Interesting. It was tense. It was not a great game, but it was a tense game. Uh, it had a lot of um, suspense because of the setup that City trying to get something going and Chelsea being really massive in defense. I mean, not Catanacho, but really very cleverly defending um, the, uh, the City squad. And then they get the first corner kick. I think City had 10 or whatever. Get the first corn, corner kick and uh, David Lewis throws his head, I mean he runs right through the box, throws his head in, makes it 2-0 and that was the game more or less, I mean it was an 80th minute uh, and you never thought that any, any, anyone could, could, anyone of City could get anything going. Uh, there was one thing that I didn't like is I think in the first half when Raheem Sterling took a corner kick you could see the abuse he's getting from the Chelsea supporters which I'm sorry, get a life, get a life, there's no need to yell uh, like that at players, it is, yes, if you, nah. I cannot count, count all this, and if, you know, there was not a banana peel throw, but I'm sure these were the nice words, and uh, I would even think there was some racial slurs in there, but players these days keep their cool and that's the better for it. Other than that I think then in the evening Spurs uh, beat Leicester 2-0 and yesterday I just saw a fraction of Newcastle against Watford, it was 1-1 but um, I think a Newcastle man got sent off and then ended 2-1 for, no it was Wolves, not Watford Wolves. So ended 2-1. Um, thanks to City losing we have a new leader, Liverpool 42 and I'm wondering what this will mean for the Champions League. Liverpool 42, City 41 points, Spurs 36, we have the Spurs back in third place, Chelsea 34 and Arsenal 34. Uh, well, Spurs was already because of, uh, uh, during midweek. Everton holds it. Uh, United, it's Manchester United now, it's at 26 points. That is, I have to check that one, but that's what Manchester United is now in sixth spot. Yeah, well, for, for one win against Fulham would do the trick. Uh, Everton 23 and Bournemouth also 23. That rounds out the top 8. Well, let me know which games you watched, uh, whether you agree with my assessment, especially of the uh, Chelsea City, which was really the only game that I watched in England this uh, weekend. And what do you think how the Premier League is going? Give me a thumbs up if you like that video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this. Talk to you soon. Bye.